Sweetwater Montessori School in Newburn, North Carolina presents Montessori Sensorial Materials for Preschool and Kindergarten The Geometric Cabinet This short video, less than six minutes, is a demonstration of the Montessori Sensorial Material known as the Geometric Cabinet. The geometric cabinet is just one example of the many Montessori preschool manipulative materials designed to engage a young child's senses in a compelling manner so that the concepts being learned are thoroughly and memorably absorbed. The purpose of this video is to increase understanding of the Montessori method and remove some of the mystery surrounding the use of Dr. Montessori's ingenious materials. A mat is used to help the preschool child define his space and prevent the materials from ending up scattered about the room. This helps the child stay focused and organized. For the child's first introduction to this work, the tray is used as a simple puzzle of shapes. The tray is positioned to the upper left corner of the mat. Working left to right, then top to bottom to mimic the direction convention of the child's written language, the teacher empties the tray of the blue shapes onto the mat. The child then replaces the shapes into the tray to complete the puzzle. This simple introduction sensitizes the child to the fact that, although each of the shapes is, in this case, a triangle, they do have differences. This fact becomes important later as the child begins to learn the language of angles, such as isosceles, right, equilateral, obtuse, acute, and scalene. Once demonstrated, the child may repeat this activity on his own as many times as he wishes. When he is ready, the teacher will again guide him through the next extension of this work. For the first extension of the geometric cabinet work, two mats are used to constrain the work. The cards with the solid figures are placed across the top of the mat by the teacher in some order that does not copy or mirror the sequence of the shapes in the tray. The child takes the geometric inset from the upper left hand corner of the tray and matches it to the correct card. The material is self-correcting in that no part of the image on the card will remain uncovered when the match is made. The child will continue with each shape from the tray, working left to right and top to bottom. This reinforces the direction used to read in the English language. Classes taught in other languages would honor the direction used for reading in that context. Next, the teacher places the cards with the bold outlines in a sequence different than the one used for the solid figure cards. The child moves the insets again, working from left to right and matching the appropriate card. The process is repeated using the cards with the fine outline of the shapes. This progression from solid figure to thin outline helps the child focus on the shape and see similarities among differences with an increasing level of abstraction. Working left to right as always, the child begins returning the inserts to their proper positions in the tray. Each row of cards is restacked from left to right, then top to bottom. The cards are then returned to their shelf, and the tray placed back in the cabinet, the mats rolled and put away to complete the work. The use of the geometric cabinet, as shown here, increases a child's awareness of subtle differences between various shapes and provides a platform for the teacher to introduce the correct language for each shape. The choice of words used by the teacher will vary with the child's development from circle and square to isosceles, triangle, nonagon, and quatrefoil. Distinctions will be made between an ellipse and an oval, or between a trapezoid and a rhombus. The process shown provides a structure, i.e. always left to right, that makes it easier for a child to learn to read and write later on.
The key to success with Montessori is not only in the teacher's understanding of the materials, but in her knowledge of early childhood development, her skill in identifying what is developmentally appropriate for each child, and her skill in introducing each new concept. Sweetwater Montessori School, located in New Bern, North Carolina. Call 252-649-5746. We're on the web at www.sweetwatermontessori.com and on Facebook at Newburn Preschool.